This is question A5 from the May 2018 exam in um, engineering, mathematics and modelling. Um, and what we're looking at is second order differential equations. And in particular, this one here, d2x by dt squared plus 3dx by dt minus 4x equals e to the 5t. The question says, what is the characteristic equation? Um, when we're talking about characteristic equations, we're talking about complementary functions um, or it's part of the uh, derivation of the complementary function is to find the characteristic equation. Um, I'm just going to work through this sort of um, taking it almost from first principles. You could just jump to the answer here and many people will have done in the exam. Um, but let's think about uh, what we're doing. The complementary function, um, we want the left hand side of the equation to equal zero and we need to um, try some form of x and we use x equals a e to the lambda t. And we're going to do that pretty, uh, that's, that's the way we're going to do these problems in general. Um, so x equals a e to the lambda t dx by dt equals um, lambda a e to the lambda t and d2x by dt squared equals lambda squared a e to the lambda t. Uh, then we want to say, okay, the left hand side of the equation here, uh, I'll put a purple bracket around it there, the left hand side becomes um, lambda squared a e to the lambda t plus 3 lambda a e to the lambda t minus 4 a e to the lambda t equals 0. And that's always what we're going to do when we're looking for the complementary function. We want the left hand side to equal 0. Um, then I can say um, we can take out a, a common factor of a e to the lambda t here. We get lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus 4 multiplied by a e to the lambda t equals 0. And therefore, um, one of those two terms, if you multiply two things together and you get 0, one of them must equal 0. This, If this equals 0, it's a trivial solution. So we want always this equals 0. Lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus 4 equals 0. And that is the characteristic equation. And you could go on and solve that to find what uh, lambda must equal, and that would help you to find your complementary function. Um, in the actual question in the exam, uh, it's written in terms of s rather than in terms of lambda, but that's fine. It's s squared plus 3s minus 4 equals 0, and that's the fourth option. And as I say, you could possibly have jumped straight to the answer there because they are the coefficients of uh, d2x by dt squared, the coefficient of dx by dt, and the coefficient of x, um, making up a kind of quadratic equation in lambda or s. Um, so that is that question complete.